everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Melanie Tries Recipes. Today we are going to make a sausage and onion and pepper stir fry with a homemade stir fry sauce. We are going to start off with uh, um, sauteing about a tablespoon of minced garlic. Um, once that's nice and fragrant, we're, we are going to add in um, a quarter of a cup of soy sauce and then two-thirds cups of honey and then we're going to stir it so that the honey dissolves and bring it up to a boil and then we are going to mix together approximately one tablespoon of car, uh, cornstarch with one tablespoon of water and then we are going to add that to um, our, our pan and bring it to uh, bring our sauce to a boil and then make sure it gets thickened and then remove it immediately remove it from the heat um, I am I I actually doubled the recipe because I'm making a lot and I wanted a lot of extra sauce um, I didn't end up putting in enough garlic and so it didn't have quite the awesome flavor that I was looking for and also I didn't quite get it uh, my sauce thick enough it was it's supposed to be a little bit thinner of a sauce but um, it was still a little bit too thin for me so here we are we are uh, using up the last of the um, red onion or purple onion whatever you call it from the last video that you saw and we are also going to use up the rest of the yellow pepper and red pepper from the last video that you saw. We are going to make some uh, large chunks with the yellow pepper, red pepper, um, and onion. I was planning on, you can see I've got a green onion sitting, or a green pepper sitting there. Um, and I was planning on putting that in too, just for the color, but I felt like the amount of peppers that I had in was was a perfect amount. I didn't decide not to add any more. And because I cut the red pepper into boats um, for the last video, I had to trim these a little bit different than I normally would if I just had a leftover red pepper. So here we are just, you know, like I said, making, making some, some nice chunks. Um, you want not teeny bite sizes, but not, um, sizes that are so large that you have to cut them after you get it on your plate. And then here we are. I am also going to add, uh, half of a yellow onion. Let me take care of my garbage real quick. Let's go dump in our peppers into our heated skillet. I don't know, skillet, fry pan, whatever you want to call it. Okay, see, um, let's heat it up. Okay, now it's heated. Let's dump these vegetables in there. <clears throat> make sure the onions are separated stir that up a little bit and make sure we got some oil coated on all of it put some salt on there so that while they're cooking they are also sweating cooks helps cook them faster now we are going to uh, slice up some kibasa see the good thing about this recipe is that you could use um, kibasa you can use sausage you can use um turkey sausage or you know whatever kind of i mean you can cut up some cooked brats and put in, in it if you want to the main thing is the peppers and um that stir fry sauce that that's what pretty much makes this recipe is the stir fry sauce and the onions and the peppers so here we go we're just gonna slice them <clears throat> Got to check and make sure my camera's going because sometimes I'll be in the middle of doing something 
and realized my camera's not even going and I only have um, half of a recipe recorded. That's happened like five times so far. Anyways, see my puppy over there? He says, can I have some of that sausage? Can I have some of your kibasa, please? No? Okay, well, I'm going to just go eat some dog food then. So now we're going to just go ahead and uh, go drop this into the skillet. Our peppers are almost all the way done. I'm putting the um, pieces of meat so they're touching the bottom of the pan and trying to move the peppers out of the way at the same time so we can get some good sizzle action going. And yes, we have sizzle action going. You gotta love hearing the sizzle on that. So now we're just gonna stir it up a bit. See how the bottoms of the sausage are doing, kibasa see how they're looking it's looking good to me guys I don't know if you guys are seeing how how yummy this looks but this looks great to me now we are going to pour in our sauce And now that the sauce is in there, we're, we're going to want to let this cook for like, like it is just kind of boiling into the, um, peppers, onions, and kibasa for like, I don't know, about five minutes, 10 minutes, you know, as long as you don't reduce it too much, it's going to be awesome. Um, and I... I prefer the jasmine rice, so I made up some jasmine rice that we, we are going to have this over. Alrighty guys, so it's pretty much done at this point. Let's plate it up and taste it. So I recorded a whole section or thought I recorded a whole section of me taking the first couple bites and saying, oh yeah, this is really good. Um, but yeah, I didn't end up recording it. So I had to re-record, re-record it. But yeah, so this is really delicious. I mean, if you like peppers, if you like onions, if you like kibasa, you're going to love this recipe. Thanks guys.